We want to have a local fan base, and that's really important for us to be able to build the pride in the community and everything else. And I think that's something that Las Vegas would like to have as well. We want to do it right, so it's not a real rush. We want to make sure whatever we do, we do right. When you knew you were coming to Las Vegas, and there had to be, at least in your mind, some unknowns, some things that you said, well, will this work here? Am I concerned about this? Like, what were some of those things when you didn't know how this would all fit? Wow, that's a good question. Um, I don't know that there was concerns about what would fit and what wouldn't fit. I think the most concern was getting into the community, uh, knowing that we had a uh, two-year head start and that we were going to remain in Oakland and play those final two, two to three seasons up there. Um, it was important for us to get down here and get into the community. And that's really what we focused on was uh, that two-year introduction to the Raiders family through our community outreach programs. My father used to say that the greatness of the Raiders is in its future and the opportunity to build a world-class stadium in the entertainment capital of the world is one opportunity that will give us the ability to uh, achieve that greatness. No matter where you look here, whether it's you know at the Allegiant or wherever, your dad is plays a very prominent position, and everyone knows of his legacy, and you've always championed that and talked about it. But I want to talk to you about your legacy, and if you ever think about it, and if coming here maybe enhances in your mind your legacy. Do you care about that? Because you've always championed his, but I want to ask you about your legacy. What do you believe that it will be or what you would like it to be if that's something you, 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 know, you care about? Well, I've always said that the least important thing in life is the score at halftime. So I can't be thinking about legacies right now. We're talking about building something still. And so that's not complete. So I don't, I don't think in those terms. You champion your dad's, but you're, you're only Well, written. what it is is, my, my role in this thing and taking over from my father when he passed away was to continue and, uh, the legacy that he built, the mystique of the Raiders. But again, another thing that I say is the most important asset or the most valuable asset we have is our alumni. And so my job is to be doing things such as building a, a facility like this that they'll be proud of, that, that they can look at and, and feel good about. Right. Um, and so in that regard, everything is coming, coming well. The one thing I failed in so far, and I'll admit it, is we haven't won. And that's really what this team is about, is just win. And uh, I take it to another level as far as just win on the field and off. And uh, right now we're doing a wonderful job off the field, but we've got a lot, a lot of work to do on the field. Is that what uh, keeps you up at night most? It drives me, absolutely. Yes, it does. And uh, again, it was bringing John Gruden into the organization. I felt was a uh, very uh, stabilizing force for the organization. And uh, he's got a long, long term to do right. the things he needs to do to get it done. So I wasn't looking for just a quick fix. I was looking for something that we build for the future. I can safely say that uh, I am now the owner of the Las Vegas Aces of the WNBA. I felt that for a successful operation that they would have to have a home as well. On Raiders Way is making for an exciting time and future for all involved. Being a football owner, will it help you being the Aces owner? Um, I tell you, I, I understand. It's, it's funny, it, you know, normally if you get a, a franchise, you're gonna become an owner of a franchise, you're gonna learn it from the smaller organization going to the bigger one. Right. Um, with the Raiders, it's 53 players, <laughs> you know, and a $180 million uh, salary cap. With the Aces, it's 12 players and a, and a uh, about a $1.3 million. A much smaller cap. cap. Yes. Yeah. But again, there's still the same things about community outreach, media rights, all those things all come into play, whether it's a $180 billion organization or yeah. league or, or not. Yeah. Um, what are you looking forward to most as being the owner of the Aces? Designing that ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's a great answer, yeah. You'll have, you'll have input there. You know, it's a fantastic team. I mean, we've got Bill Lambeer as our head coach. Can you ask for anything better? Um, he's put 20 years into this league, um, has won a championship in it, um, is just a phenomenal person to help me understand what the league is about. I think the Raiders and the Aces are going to blend very, very well. And I'm just excited to see how that works. And that's why I talk about synergy on a Raiders way is going to be just phenomenal.